It's safe to say that Bullet Train is one of a kind. Even though it received a lot of attention, the question of Bullet Train's sequel still stands. In the action comedy Bullet Train, a group of assassins is brought together on a fast train and are connected in unexpected ways. Although it's still far from its $90 million budget, the brand new action movie Bullet Train made its debut on August 5th and enjoyed a strong box office opening. The movie made $30.1 million during its first weekend in the United States and finished with about $62.5 million globally. This $62.5 million debut is nothing to sneeze at and predictions indicate that the movie will gross $100 million. However, its box office debut puts it well short of breaking even on its massive $90 million budget. The movie centers on Ladybug, a skilled but very unlucky assassin who's hoping for a peaceful mission after too many of his previous assignments went wrong. However, given that this mission places him on a Japanese bullet train with some of his most deadly enemies, things don't look good either. It appears to be making him doubt his profession and the task he undertakes in bullet train is simple at first but gradually escalates into a difficult battle of survival as he attempts to outsmart or fight his way through. My bad luck is biblical. I'm not even trying to kill people and someone die. The high concept premise, however, may easily be modified for Bullet Train 2 because it quickly becomes obvious that nobody on board the train is there by accident and that everyone has a role to play. The climactic scene in Bullet Train ties up all the loose ends in the story by establishing a link between each character and the reason they're riding the bullet train. The film is an adaptation of Kotaro Isaka's Japanese novel Maria Beetle. It currently has a 54% Rotten Tomatoes rating. It was praised for being action-packed and having a strong cast, but it received criticism for having a storyline that was lost in the film's excessive detail. A sequel to the film has a lot of potentials. They all unexpectedly interacted with one another, which resulted in murder, mayhem, and comedic scenes in the movie, indicating that we'll soon see the same thing in Bullet Train 2. What am I? But how soon? The release of Bullet Train 2 is still uncertain because Bullet Train is a brand new original movie that hasn't yet gained recognition for itself at the box office. A sequel is entirely possible if the movie does well enough and appeals to viewers. Light's next movie, a Ryan Gosling starring adaptation of the TV series The Fall Guy, would have to come first if the sequel were to be his directorial debut. This would put Bullet Train 2 on track for no later than 2024. Before we go any further, we wanted to let you know that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. However, a sequel could be produced for a late 2023 release if the movie proves to be successful and if the studio wants to move the project along fast without lights at the helm. Brad Pitt, Brian Tyree Henry, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Sandra Bullock, Joey King, Andrew Koji, Michael Shannon, Zazie Beetz, Bad Bunny, and Hiroyuki Sanada are among the cast members of the David Light directed film Bullet Train. Pitt plays Ladybug, the protagonist of Bullet Train, who thankfully makes it through the ordeal in the first movie and might return in Bullet Train 2. At the conclusion of the movie, he's seen reuniting with his handler, Maria, played by Sandra Bullock. She may also appear in a sequel, perhaps in a role that is expanded to allow her to participate in the action as well. Byron Tyree Henry's Lemon survives the events of the movie and might appear again, which would be a promising sign given how much of a scene-steater his character is. The Elder and Kimura are the only other survivors who could return for Bullet Train 2. Pitt's Ladybug is the glue holding the colorful cast of characters in Bullet Train together. His reaction to those around him is essential to the plot. The best way to tell the story of Bullet Train 2 would be to create a new adventure plot with some of the remaining cast members and Ryan Reynolds' Carver character from the first film would be a pleasant surprise, perhaps playing the villain. And he didn't hire two random operators, Lemon. No, he asked for the two responsible for the Bolivia job. That is why! Or maybe there will be even more cameos. We'll see. The most likely scenario for Bullet Train 2 is Pitt's Ladybug working another job that forces him to board a bullet train once again. Collaboration between Ladybug and Lemon on the same job would be a fun way to continue their bonding process that began at the end of Bullet Train. The next best thing would be for Ladybug and Bullock's Maria to work together. The action movie sets up a few ways for the plot to continue, even though Bullet Train neatly wraps up its main plot by eliminating the antagonists. There are no current plans for a Bullet Train sequel or spin-off, but given that the film's conclusion indicates that Mr. Carver is involved, it's possible that one will center on Ryan Reynolds' character. 
Carver is enigmatic, and the two of them have probably shared a lot of experiences in the past, Ladybug doesn't appear to like Carver's colleague at all. The dynamics between Ladybug and Carver could be the main topic of a Bullet Train sequel. They might even go on a mission together. A follow-up action movie could go into more detail about Ladybug's character, as well as who he works for and with since many viewers are still unaware of him. You are the person who pushed my grandson off the department's to our roof. Why? Bullet Train concludes its central storyline and kills off many of its characters, including Tangerine and the Hornet. However, if the filmmakers and studio decided to expand the Bullet Train universe, a prequel focusing on two key characters would be better suited. Each assassin on Bullet Train is tasked with locating or guarding a briefcase containing cash, which was used as a ransom by the White Death to assemble everyone on the train. Lemon and Tangerine are two of the assassins who stand out from the rest. The brothers argue, make fun of one another, and defend on one another from other attackers throughout the entire running time of the movie. Lemon and Tangerine's constant banter, as portrayed by Brian Terry Henry and Aaron Taylor Johnson, is entertaining and humorous. While it would be easy to make a sequel about another of Ladybug's unfortunate adventures, a prequel about Lemon and Tangerine's exploits would be preferable. Bullet Train has already revealed a few of their previous missions, including one in Bolivia that led them to begin working for the White Death. Given their long-standing friendship, closeness, and shared history as assassins, a prequel might go into more detail about their backstories. Bullet Train only touched the surface, and a prequel would bring Tangerine back to work with his brother because he was killed off by the end of the movie. The brothers have a shared past, and their humor would be enough to sustain a whole movie while exploring more of their lives and exploits. Ladybug would like to return in a Bullet Train sequel, but Lemon and Tangerine are probably more fun to watch. They light up the screen with their arguments and need to protect each other despite everything, which may be because they're a duo which has a deeper bond than any other characters in the movie. It would be repetitive to have a sequel about a different Ladybug mission, and Ryan Reynolds' Carver isn't liked by the audience enough to merit a whole movie about him. Instead, a potential Bullet Train prequel would focus more on the dynamic professional and personal relationship between Lemon and Tangerine. The audience might also discover more about Lemon's praise for Thomas the Tank Engine. Lemon and Tangerine work well together and are frequently the highlight of Bullet Train, despite sharing some of the misfortune that plagues Ladybug in his endeavors. And because of this, you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell. So you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. A prequel featuring more from and about the brothers would be an interesting and likely entertaining film, especially since their hijinks together would be filled with enjoyable banter and some nonsense.